ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the America's Tier 1 in what is the penultimate race of the Contest of Speed Season 4. Uh, yeah, good turnout tonight. We're at Britain, Silverstone, great track. It's meant to be the last race of the season, however, uh, we had issues with the race at America, so we will be fittingly ending the season off at America. So, uh, yeah, I'm joined tonight with Titchy. I don't know if he's back yet. Evening. He is. I am here. He is back. Yeah, looking forward to tonight's race. Oh, yeah. Looks uh, a bit overcast, really. It yeah. does look a bit overcast. Looking forward to it. Loving overcast conditions. You know me. I know you. Yeah. Who's first out? Ah, bar. In, in the fight for four. In the fight for fourth, yeah. Any any fights going on in the championship still? We know that Alp has won the drivers' championship. Yeah, there's a slim chance Mitch can beat Benrique to second. Slim. Slim. Twenty one points. Twenty one points. So a win is necessary. Win's necessary. Yeah, it is. It is. No, there's two <laughs> races left though. You got to oh, remember there is that. Two races. Oh, I keep forgetting. Yeah. So. Still, still got a chance. Uh, I believe there's a battle for fourth going on in the drivers' championship. There is, there is a massive battle for fourth between three drivers. Very uh, nice. Big Slater is currently. I can't remember how many points it was. I'm back. There you go. Big Slater is currently nine points clear of Arbar, and then nice. eight points further back is Juventus. Very nice. So it's, could get tasty. Good little battle for fourth. Let's hope it goes well. Our bar is out on his out lap. First one out on track. So we'll stay on board with him for his lap. Oh yes. But uh, I believe there is a constructors battle going on as well. There is. Quite there a close one. Point, six points between the racing points and the Williams. Yeah. Racing point lead by six points. That is for fourth place as well. Yeah. The racing points Ooh, of Big Slater and JJ Burn against the Williams of. New driver Jonathan Cox. There you go. That's what you needed to do. Good That's a great. <laughs> great. That worked out perfectly. That was like I meant that. New driver Jonathan Cox tonight. Yeah. Isn't out on track. We'll make sure to get him some stream time as it is his first race. Uh, as we see Arbar flying around the track, going down the Wellington Straight, setting the purples the first sector. Obviously, first one to do so. Uh, so yeah, should be an exciting race. Uh, the one driver letting us down tonight is Blank. It is legitimate. He has, he has sent an absence. He has sent an absence for him, but it's just disappointing when you've got 19 drivers. It is. It's, it's the biggest disappointment. Going yeah. <laughs> Especially when he just shows. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Obviously, Blank can't make tonight's race. So, uh, yeah. Great turnout from the America's tier, as always. And tonight we'll... I can almost guarantee an absolutely wonderful race from these Americas, guys. DK building up very, very slowly to his lap. Yeah, and he's uh, <laughs> he's going to get in the way of no, he's not. Arbar he's if he's not careful. <laughs> oh, and there's been an off at Margaret's and Beckett's. We'll watch Arbar finish his lap first, though. It is JG Burn. It's a 126.9. It's a good banker. JG Burn is off and That's waiting. Nice. Yes. In the meantime, I have noticed that Alp and Fenrique oh. have uh, deployed the the tow. Uh, the tow strategy. Yeah, Fenrique sets a 127 flat. Interestingly, not beating Arbar. You yeah. expect with the tow, you'd uh, see. So Arbar, obviously, very strong at this track. It is a good bank collapse set in the 126s from Arbar. What do you reckon pole time will be tonight? The likes of Alp, Fenrique, Arbar, Mitch will be up there. Well, hopefully they beat your time. Hopefully, it's yeah, it's fingers crossed. still the quickest Still time. the quickest. <laughs> I'm hoping they don't, to be honest. <laughs> uh, don't know why. Um, uh, I reckon, uh, could we see a 125? Could we see a 125? Well, I think the person to do it will move over to this man. It is Alp. <laughs> The rest, I don't know the rest of his name or how to pronounce it, so it's Alp. Alp. As he goes through Cops, 
on the run down to Maggots and Beckett, sits in the track limits well. Boo Maggots and Beckett's one of the, I'd say one of the hardest F section in F1, would you say? Yes, Between this and um, either Japan US. or the US. Yeah. The US is carbon copy of Maggots and Beckett's to be fair. It is, it's just... There's that toe. There is the toe, and Alp is looking good for a decent lap here. Alp is the driver's champion of this season. The first America's tier, and he crosses the line with a 126.5. That is a great lap to start off with. Closely yeah. followed behind by the debutant Jonathan Cox, 0304. A pretty quick banker for him. Quick lap from him. So maybe he could be involved. Debut win. Ooh. You never know. Who should we go on with? Grugrux King, where is he? Is he on a lap? He's at one ERS. I'm gonna go in now. Bod Hod. He's just come in. DK set a lap. Uh Who's on a lap here? Okay. An out lap. It's coming down the uh, the hangar straight, so we'll stick with Perry. I think we should uh, put the pressure on Jonathan Cox later on, and he seems quite quick. Han hack the pressure, so we'll uh, we'll go on board with him later on in the session. Yeah. Get in the stream time. Get in the stream time. You love to see it, Perry. Was X tier 3 champion, not anymore. I think some idiot beat him. <laughs> but he's uh, going through... I don't know what these se series of corners are called, actually. I don't know what that one is. This one coming up is Aintree. Great commentator, I know. Loses the back end slightly coming out of there. Down the Wellington straight. Yeah, you got going. the straights down, not the corners. Yeah, got the straights now. It's, it's a pain, this track, for corners and straight names. Goes purple in sector one, even with the back end stepping out, coming out of the loop. <laughs> Through Brooklands, down there. Through Woodcote, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought I was better prepared for this. Clearly not. Let's get a map up. Through Cops. Yeah, a map. <laughs> Let's get the map it's up. Your home, it's your home goal on break. I know, it's damn useless. Maggots. And then into Beckett's. Oh, and he's losing the back end through there. Down Cap Capel. Chapel Curve. Onto the hangar, hangar straight. Reveal and into club. Well, he's run out of DRS quite quickly. Will affect his time. ERS, thank you. Get your letters right. The banker in. Yeah, 128 flat from Perry. I think he'll be looking to beat that. Uh, and we'll, we'll stay clear of. We'll go on to J Jig Burn. Try and help Big Slater out in the battle for fourth place in the constructors. I think Event we'll be coming, coming around club now to set we'll, a lap time. We'll keep an eye on him. Eighth place, 127.3 from Juventus. Just behind his teammate of Mick for the 127.2. The Mercedes, they do it again, aren't they? Uh, they are. Yeah, they are. They love this, don't they? Yeah. They know what they're doing. They're well trained, the Mercedes drivers. <laughs> Clear constructors winners, it must be said. Oh, and we've. Oh, and Raidcon's gone. At Luffield. At Luffield. As we watch Jay Jigburn finish his lap, but we'll quickly go over to Bodhod, who is coming. No, wrong one. You see me flying, he's coming round to see the stricken car. On the right hand side there of the McLaren. <laughs> Occupied by Rage Con. Yeah. On and the it, left hand side there, I think, and come across. He has set a lap time, but it's not a brilliant one, unfortunately. So, unfortunate for Rage Con. He was lower down the order in tier 3 as well. He was. 
that really appeared. Had a great race last week in Brazil, in which was one of the best races of the season. We had a six-way battle for the lead, so if you haven't seen that, go to Contest of Speed at YouTube right. and it. give it a good watch. Yep, Titchy fell asleep. <laughs> useless. Utter, utterly useless. I don't know, sorry. I don't lie. You see me fly coming through club last turn, set a 128.1 to go P12. What's Has Fenrique doing? He's slowed right down to pick up out of the time. Let's see. Yeah. We'll move across to... No, we will be giving out some stream time. We'll go to Element 10. He's going through the loop. Thanks for that corner name. Through Aintree. I knew that one. <laughs> down the Wellington Strait. Element 10 could be an outside chance for... Uh... Yeah, he's looked strong in the races. He has. Absolutely. I'm a fan of Element 10, he's, 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 he's like an underdog, an underdog for a win. Oh, um, do you know what? We might have to move from Element 10, who is going through cops at the moment, because I've just seen someone of interest who is about to start his lap. Oh, and it is the new man. man. And we're going to we're gonna have to go on board. Do you want to talk through the laps and as you know all the corner names, Titchy? <laughs> I know this one. Yes. No, it's not. It comes up. Oh, but. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's funny. <laughs> Just no. Alright, round farm. In, into the left hand side of the loop. And then through Aintree onto the way of the Not very good at all. No, no, you're doing fine. Not being fine. Oh, fuck. purple sector one, that's it. Takes the curb at Brooklands, round Luffield. Move round there, into Woodcut. Up the straight, down towards Cox, the old pit straight. Loved it. Yeah. Through Cox, flat out, little lift, I think. Not flat out, little lift. Maggots and Beckett's flat out the first two. Take the curbs. Lift off, break. Out onto the hangar straight. And uh, just, a t just like under attempt down. Coming into Stowe. Does he take the line here? Takes the line. Takes the curve nicely. Not too much over. Into Vale. Oh, he's run a little deep out the exit there. Through club. Doesn't beat his time. Oh, what a waste Fenrique of time, does. Jonathan. Fenrique does, and Alp has as well. We've completely missed that. Alp with a 126.3 yeah, and Fenrique with a 126.3 as well. So, a McLaren 1 2 at the moment. Still haven't been in your time. What was my time? Oh, yeah, it was a, one, it was a point two. <laughs> was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my. Come on, lads. Up your game. <laughs> right. What's the chat saying? Not a lot. Uh, thank you for the follow, Cupid. We can try to. Uh, we have a website. <laughs> if you want to race, uh, just sign up to the website and we could sure find your space. <laughs> I know, yeah. If anyone's in the chat that can uh, sort that out, then that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, let's move across to someone. Who's on a lap? Bersey J, just coming up to Vale. We'll get the back end of Bersey J's lap, going into club. Club's a very difficult corner for traction, as you are turning the car while you're on the throttle. And across the line, doesn't improve. We are really not good at uh, good luck charms for these drivers. Uh, got flip-flop fish on a lap now. Coming up to maggots and reddits. Flip-flop fish. The next man. Up. Next man. <laughs> You come across the line. It is. Everyone in the pits waiting for the. Oh, he goes purple. Seven temps after this. Which is putting him near the pole time. Putting him very close to the pole time. Break hard into Vale. 
take the apex, take the other apex. Don't get on the throttle too early. Come across the line. Oh, hate Oh, and it's exactly the same yeah, as Fenrique. Why is Fenrique oh, not second? I, That's I incredible. Know. This is the oh, the game. Fenrique's been mugged right off there from Flip Flop Fish. <laughs> Fenrique. In reality, should be in second place, but that is incredible. Has that happened before this season? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's happened with me and Rosa, by. not. Yeah. It, but that wasn't it the wasn't final. The ending time. Yeah. yeah, that's incredible. Um, who can we go across? To? <laughs> Who's not had any time? We've got a lot of outlaps going on. I think our bar will be interesting. He had a very good uh, first lap. Element 10 is coming around now. Oh, Thomas is in the chat. Tier 2 commentator Thomas. You'll love to see it. And Perry's gone. Don't in the pit lane. <laughs> what are you here, Thomas? <laughs> Two in the morning, mate. Got school tomorrow. School? What's that? <laughs> All cancelled. Oh, my. But we We've carry got... on as ever. We do. <laughs> We do, we keep it going. Where's that key? Where's he? He is. Just coming through Woodpit now. Uh, I'm on board with an Arbar craft at the moment, as I think he'll be up there with the likes of Flip Pot Fish and Fenrique and Alp, just because of what he set on the uh, first lap he did. It's lovely. It's it's incredible lap time. But um, interestingly, this track is usually a lot of drivers' fastest track because they've spent the most time practicing on it. One, because it is such a good track to drive, and two, I think many leagues require this a, uh, a time on this track to see what tier yeah. you're going. So a lot of practice does go into Silverstone, so we should be looking forward to some high-quality racing tonight got a naughty 22 viewers which is well you love Fantastic. to see it really it's great that is beautiful we do love to see people are noticing yeah. some of the best racing in contests of speed in the america's tier and it's so consistently good as our bar sets a 126.6 never a dull race never a dull race we'll go to the elder mitch who's coming through <laughs> maggots and maggots <laughs> you won't be happy i said that but uh <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick with him down at the hangar straight. <laughs> Mitch, what a wonderful man that guy is. Round Stowe, through Vale and into Club. Still on four oh, ERS mode four. Not for me. No, no. <laughs> not for, not around there. Mitch sets a one twenty six point nine. P seven for Mitch. He's never one for qualifying, Mitch. He's always a racer. Yeah. Never, yeah, a, never a hot to... lapper. The race is the more entertaining part, anyway. It is, usually. Wingate is back after his very good performance in Brazil, considering he was away from the game for a while, and Alps just beat my time. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> <sighs> Missed it as well. Oh. Here comes Fenrique. Fenrique is 0.08 up. Enrique is 0.98 or we'll have to move over to him then to see if he can challenge yeah. out for if he can, if he can keep pole up the position he can, he can. Pole, Thomas is very happy that Alp beat me yeah. but Fenrique comes through the last turn full power oh no, he's in improved. Oh, by a thousand I, I don't know oh, that might be wrong Interestingly, Lopez oh, is P11 on the mediums, bod hod. Oh, the reverse strategy is very good for him. Yeah, you'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah. You're looking at 1-2 <laughs> and 2-3. Two, <laughs> <three. laughs> it was a good time. Good it was a good time, yeah. Well, you didn't get a good time, not qualifying anyway. Oh, Have we got the glitch? Then, and that is it. Oh, that, yeah, is... that is it. So, over. there's your qualifying positions. We've got Alp on top with Flip Flop Fish and Fenrique setting the exact same time, however, because the game's stupid. 
flip flop fish is second place with Fenerike in third. Arbar in fourth position, I think he'll be happy with that. Jonathan Cox on debut, top five at fifth. Perry retired in the pits at sixth. Mitch on seventh. Element 10, eighth. Wingit ninth. Juventus tenth. Now both stream and my view has got rid of the thing, so I don't know. Lopez eleventh. Twelfth is DK, DK. good yep. qualifying from him. Bersey J P13, Bodhod 14th. He hates it when I commentate. He's never actually had a good result when I've commentated. You see me flying 15th, J Jigburn 16th, Raidcon who did retire at Woodcut. Yep. 17th, <laughs> Grugrix King 18th, and Big Slater who didn't set a lap time. That went unnoticed. P19. Yep. So, um, racing points in the battle for fourth position in the Constructors have got a lot to do with both Williams qualifying in the top five. Yeah. It's um, going to be a good one. Leading the championship um, is Alp, and he's won Done. by Finished. a country mile. He won like four Don't weeks ago. That. He might leave. <laughs> <laughs> Championship's still alive. Still alive. Fourth place <laughs> is still alive. <laughs> so, second. Right, predictions for who's going to be the naughty boy, and we need top three in the chat. So, who do you think top three is going to be? Me? Oh. I don't want to go, like, crazy. I think Alp's going to win. Alp win? <laughs> I don't know, those qualifying times were pretty close, actually. Yeah, they were. I'll go for the standard Mercedes 1-2 again. So Alp first, Fenrique second, and who's going to finish third? Uh, I'd like to say flip flop fish. Flip flop fish. Too easy. No surprise. <laughs> wow. Easy. So you're on for a boring race tonight. Cheers, yeah. Titchy. Great job. Oh. Stick around, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Would you with. Boring one? No, don't say that. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Definitely not. It's looking sunny, by the way. Yeah. So I don't think there'll be any surprises. Everyone's being good as well, not pressing X. But I'm going to go with... Oh, by Thomas. Oh, yeah, Matty's Thomas. gone for the Mercedes 1-2. Who's three? Who's three, Matty? Who's um, three? I'm going to go with... I think Fenrique's going to win, purely because he gave, he was the only one giving me support on Monday. So Fenrique yeah. for the win. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Mitch in second. And Alp third. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Mitch oh. is gonna hold Alp up again and Alp's gonna get really annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Just like last week in Brazil. What a race that was. Uh, I don't think anyone's pressed the button. I think we're gonna get the automatic timer come yeah, up. Uh, they've been good boys. They've been they've been good. At the penultimate race of the Americas tier. First That's Americas tier. Out to do it. <laughs> Thomas has gone with Alp, Fenrique and Mitch in that order. From first to yeah. third. And I think that was, yeah, it shouldn't have, uh, that was just automatic. Yeah, automatic, yeah, because, good lads. <laughs> Bodhod saying take one for the team, very nice. <laughs> yeah, Don't say that now, Bodhod. That might have been the longest it's ever been, that was ridiculous. Yeah. It's the two minute countdown, <laughs> takes two minutes and it does it automatically. But uh, we should be loading into the race any second now. Here we are, getting ready for the formation lap. Okay, all the cars disappeared yeah, on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Codemasters. Get the tire data up, here we go. Yeah, let's have a look. If I can find it. I never remember where it is. So, on the medium tyres of the drivers outside the top ten, we have Lopez. DK starts on the softs. Bersey J, Bodhod on the mediums. You see me flying also on the softs. And then from then on, it is J, Jigburn, Raidcon, Grugrux King, and Big Slater all on the mediums. So, like Big Slater will be a shout as well. Seeing how well you did making it through the yeah. field, you know that the soft tyre are, tires are it's incredible. incredible yeah, at the end. It's just whether, whether they'll get Lopez lucky with a safety car. Lopez looking strong in 11th. Currently in previous races, um, safety cars. We've, we've either had zero full safety cars or three, so you don't know. 
up in the air, really. Don't it you? is. It is up in the air. We'd, you can almost guarantee at least a VSC with the new update, but as Alp is taking some interesting lines on the formation lap. Yep, Thomas predicts one and a half safety cars tonight. Thank you. Just to average it out. Just to, yeah. Get the averages in. As we come through the final few turns up to the line where the cars will line up, ready to start the race. Alp is notorious for a bad start, so that'll be exciting to see. It's where he gets a flyer, he's due one. Yeah, he's <laughs> too. I think he's been practicing um, his starts to be fair, because um, it's some. Second critical fish to lead into turn one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't want the inside line into Abby, it's a very dangerous no. corner, it's flat out, and if you're side by side with someone, the inside driver usually gets the worst of it. Yeah. Right. Can we get a good view? There, there we go. Fenrique pro Okay. Go back to that. Yeah. Fenrique provided. So it's one, two, three, four, five red lights. And oh, we're off. We <laughs> and as expected, Alp has had a shocker and Flip Flop Fish has overtaken him already, yeah. Yeah. even before. I mean, the Mercedes are side by side. As we go through into the loop. And Alp has the inside line. Jonathan Cox with a good start as well. It's Mercedes versus Williams. Old versus new. Oh no. Juventus is round. Oh, Juventus is round. And the bad luck continues. Round. Did he get touched by anyone? I think there was a little bit of contact. A little bit not, of contact. Nothing major. Oh, and the Mercedes are going at each other again. I can't press the right button. Side by side through Woodcut. Fenrique's got Alp actually. I've missed an overtake. Yeah. No! <laughs> Every time. Fenrique leads through cops and it's all just helping Flip Flop Fish. As he's almost already a second ahead. Jonathan Cox looking to maybe try one into Maggots and Beckett's. It's ill advised. Yeah. And already! That is quick. <laughs> With a three second time penalty from Jonathan Cox on his debut. Half a lap it took. That might be a record. A record of. In, co in contest of speed. Oh! <laughs> Fastest time penalty. <laughs> as Arbar is looking up the inside of Jonathan. But to no avail. Heck, so I did there. Avail. Exciter up to 14th now. Yeah, I think that was more of a. Um, multi 21 from the Force Indias. What am I doing? Racing points! <laughs> oh! What a nightmare! <laughs> Could we be looking at another close battle at the top? It looks that way. And Lopez no. is all over the back of Mitch. And I think he's just pushed him through the corner. He's not a Lopez's car. Yeah, I've not got a great one from Mitch. As the front three have built a gap of about one second to Jonathan Cox. He's teetering on the edge of the DRS zone. That old DK. Now turning into the outside, he is on the softer compound tyre, and he's kept it round the outside of Bursey J. DK, oh, and he's just hit the grass, compromised his speed a bit. Well. Big Slater are waiting, and Bursey J has backed out, going into cops. DK almost oh, losing good. the car. He's caught it well, but it's allowed Big Slater <laughs> and Bursey J to get past. Yeah. Big Slater following. Bursey Jet and DK's round. No. And I can't. There's no point looking at him because I can't see him. But we'll go back to Big Slater, who is going tr trying to try it round the outside of Stowe, and he's got the move done. It's a great move from Big Slater. Big Slater with a flyer of a start. Eight places he up now. Eight places. Let's have a look, actually. Oh, Henry Case. Mounting the pressure on Flip Flop Fish. And the front three have left Jonathan for dust. He's almost caught up to the back of the pack already. Yep. <laughs> it's a it's a good comeback drive. Oh. So oh, you see, he finds off. He's off. That would be at Abbey very easy to do. 
as there is a bump right on the mm. curve at Abbey. Wing's gone as well, I think. Yeah. Completely off. And there's a safety car. Safety car. Oh. Yeah, I've just seen it. So that could have saved you, Sumi Flyers Race, as well as Juventus and DK, who have it's had a spin. Get round the safety car without hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't catch safety that. Car's parking it in all the wrong places. That sounds hilarious. <laughs> now, what are people going to do? Hards will definitely soft, make it to the end here. Yeah, the soft, I, I assume some soft runners will come in for hard, some will stay out. It will be interesting to see. Oh! As we've got Fenrique, I think, overtook Flip Flop Fish under safety care. And then dropped so back Yeah, he's just letting back through. So a bit of drama there. <laughs> yeah. So the 1.5 is still in play. Thomas wasn't happy with the start that the lights went straight out and they went. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen often, Thomas. It doesn't, it happen, it doesn't happen in the Americas here. Yeah. It, it's, it it's never happened to me, but I prepare for it every single time. Yeah. So I always prepare mess it up. Glitch. No. <laughs> there is no glitch. <laughs> and who's Pitt? So we've got Perry in, Mitch in, and Wing it. So we'll see what these drivers are going on to. This is the longest pit lane in on the calendar all going on the hard tyre 35 seconds you lose in the pit lane yeah so it's beneficial to pit under safety car we've got some more drivers in the pits and it is the three spinners the three spinners are in Juventus DK and you see me flying somewhat DK's on the medium tyre it'd be interesting to see if he can make it to the end or he's going for a two stop Juventus is also on the mediums Juventus also on the mediums and you see me flying over the hards. Yeah, Ferrari double stack. Mitch went hards to the end. And I'll tell you who's looking at some great positions here. Lopez and Big Slater. Yeah. Bersie Jet, all the medium runners are looking at a great position. And you see me flying serving S something. Or was it front wing change? Front change. I think it was a front wing change. Yeah, he lost his whole front wing. Which is why the safety car came out. And right, my nose has gone all stuffy oh, for no. the first time in Can about a week. <laughs> <laughs> tag, I'll tag someone in. Blades, where are you? Thomas is still awake. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> so got 26 viewers in the stream. Thank you, everyone. That is big. The numbers are getting bigger. They're getting week. bigger. First safety car of the night on lap three. We are on lap Half four to go now. for Thomas's prediction. I reckon we're getting two more. Really? Yeah. So we're going to go with a three. Yeah. Well, it's three or zero. So we got, we can't have zero anymore. No, we can't. That's a very good point. Safety car won't be coming in this lap. So we've got another lap behind the safety car. Oh, yeah. We've got three stragglers at the back. The three spinners. Uh, livid. Uh, I'd say uh, the Thrustmaster or... Uh, the Logitech G29. There you go, Thomas will sort you out. Yeah, there you go. Drace is in the chat. the chat. You'll love to yeah. see it. It must be about three in the morning for him. That's yeah. incredible commitment. You'll love to see it. You really do. Can't believe our race went so smooth on Monday, actually. I know, it did, didn't it? Didn't have a safety car. Didn't have a full Just core a safety car. A few BSCs. BSCs. <laughs> Ricky, what's happening? Uh you see me flying on a spin at Abbey, so now we're under safety car. But it's I'll very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting for strategy. Yeah. We've got all three compounds of tyre on track, and it's only and the six, fifth lap. And he's six straight drivers came in. Yeah, all the medium runners are looking good. All the hard runners, it'll be interesting to see how they get on. I've not driven with the hards on this track, so I don't know how bad they are, but I'm going to go with bad. If there is a... This safety car could actually see... You can... Could probably take those mediums to the end. Yeah. Well, you could risk it, because there might be more safety cars. Yeah, this is the thing. It's a risk. What I have noticed, though, is... Flip Flop Fish and Fenrique seem to be in a different level of pace. Alp yeah. seems to be struggling to keep up with them, actually, which is unusual for Alp, because, you know, he's an alien. 
So it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see what happens on the restart. Jonathan Cox, of course, with the three-second time penalty he got in the first half of the first lap. Yeah. Fastest time penalty ever in contest of speed. We will have to check that. We will have to verify <laughs> that. I'll be looking at every race ever. Safety car is in this lap, so Flip Flop Fish will start to back the pack up. Oh, be careful with your swerve. With your swerve. As we see... A multitude of cars coming down the hangar straight very very slowly it'll be interesting to see when flip flop fish goes will it be out of stow yeah, the choice is either out of stow or out of club yeah but coming out of there and he's gone club. he's gone club's a bit too obvious and fenrique's kept up yeah. no overtaking can occur until we've crossed the start finish line i think Oh, yeah. Lopez is gone. Oh, Lopez, no. Lopez it's is round. We'll go quickly back to the top. Uh, Lopez is fine. He's just at the back now. Yeah, no damage. And Arba was side by side with Jonathan Cox. And he's got the move done round the outside of the loop into Aintree. Jonathan Cox will have the slipstream though going into Brooklands and up the inside which turns into the outside line will he be able to keep it round the outside in the meantime element 10 is looking but can't yeah. take advantage but Jonathan Cox has turned it into the inside with a little switch back there oh, and side by side through Cox hot. this could be dangerous yeah, and Jonathan's round yeah. It was to be expected, to be yeah. fair, with his right side of the front wing going. It's unfortunate for Jonathan. Big Slater is up to six. Big Slater's doing well, and we've had another crash. DK's yeah. round as well, so two oh, drivers okay. going at Cops. We'll go back to the leaders, who I've just shot away. Already a yeah. second and a half player of oh, Arbar. After he was fighting. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Close the gap again. Can he close it? We know he's got good pace, but Big Slater is better of the medium drivers. Perry, in the meantime, has done Mitch through Stowe, I believe, on the hard tyre, and is now all over the back of Rubrick's King. The soft runners do need to bolt now. They do, and the front three are doing well at that. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to come out in a big mess. Cavey's learning yes. Dutch. Oh. <laughs> and Perry's tried up the inside. And he can't get the move done with the hard tyres, but a switchback through the loop, going into Aintree, side by side with Grugrup's King, now going down Wellington Straight, which will mean he's up the inside of Brooklands. Oh. It's touchy-feely, Mitch is getting involved now, trying it round the outside of Grugrup's King. Oh, will yeah. Mitch get the move done? I've just messed that up. I've <laughs> Which is side by side with Grugrup's King. <laughs> yeah. The Renault sniffing the back of both of oh, them. Grugrup's no. King's round and so is Mix. Mix, Mitch. Unfortunate for both. It is the risk you take when going side by side. Three Grugrup's. Three Grugrup's. Three Cops. Sorry. Yeah. It is a risk you have to take. But in the meantime, I've just noticed. Alp is, is definitely struggling. Yeah, Let's keep is. up with these two. Or is he just saving ERS? DRS has been enabled as it is two laps after the safety car restart. In the oh, meantime, Juventus is round. Juventus is round. No, Juventus. Where is that? Just Coming it. out of club. It is yeah. very easy to do with the traction. So both Ferraris outside the points. You wouldn't have expected that. As we resume the battle for ninth place between JJ Byrne and Raycon, who has a Raycon's had a great start. Yeah, he has. He, he did start near the medium. back of the grid on the medium tyre because of his crash and qualifying. Can he dispatch of JJ Byrne? Sorry, Ricky. I know you're a Ferrari fan. We'll uh, move on. <laughs> 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 
We'll move to Element 10 and Big Slater. Big Slater is all over the back of Element 10 now. So, no more screen time for the Ferrari. So. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky said no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're getting to the point now where the medium tyre is starting to overtake the soft tyre in terms of pace. Yeah, Will Big Slater so. be able to get a move done into Stowe? No, just a bit too far behind Element 10. But yeah, the front oh, three Alpin, Alpin. and Alp is in. Alp is in the pits. He's the first, the first one to blink. We'll move back quickly to Element 10. He is. However, he will back. will get the undercut. It depend if he is in um, yeah. traffic or not. Meantime, Raidcon has got past J Jig Burn, and we'll move on to Perry. Who will be looking for the move past JJ Byrne? Will he try up the inside? Backs out of it smartly and correctly from uh, yeah. for Perry to do that. But it looked Alp like he had it. Right he's coming up. So Alp looking for the undercut on the drivers ahead of him. And Fenrique's dropped off a flip flop fish. Fenrique's done a mistake. So is DK. DK's round again. Yeah, Fenrique, he's just, just dropped off in this lap. I'll tell you what, that is a train. Oh, oh. Fluffish almost lost it, saved it well. Did really oh, I well did, to I save it, yeah. Didn't see that, and it's allowed Fenrique back. Yeah. And Fenrique is going to be... He's got a run on him. He's got, he's got a run. Flip Flop Fish will be, will be angry at himself for that. It was a good save, but he's allowed Fenrique to maybe get an overtake into Stowe. But Flip Flop Fish, straight line speed is immense. Imagine Fenrique again. Fenrique, he's, he's low on DRS, ERS, sorry, so he was going for it both pit. Arbar is also in the pit. Flip Flop Fish with a speeding penalty. No, that will be not good. Not be good for Flip Flop Fish. Which means. Big Slater leads. Big Slater, who started at the back of the grid, is now in the lead comfortably. Yeah. On track. Get the hammer, get the hammer down now. Let's move across to Alp. Where is Alp on track? He's, he's coming. Seven, seven. He's coming through Vale and into Club. He's caught up massively in this time. This could put Alp into Net P1. Well, you say that, but the hard one is to go to the end, and Perry is in a great yeah. position. And Alp jumped Alp both of them. Does Federico have wing damage? Oh, and DK's gone again. DK's having a bit of a nightmare. And I think he's just reset to track. If I saw that correctly on the map. I don't know. I, I wasn't watching it. Yeah, I just saw him, his car Slater's jump on the map. That cops. So we'll go over to... Oh, well, there's a bit of a train. And Perry and Raid are thinking about going side by side through Maggots and Beckets, however I wouldn't advise with it. Uh, it it usually ends in tears for at least one driver, if not two this is Perry going to the end on it is, Mars. and Perry's flying round Silverstone yeah. at the moment, he's showing everyone how it's done, DK getting 5 seconds for Pete in the pit lane, and it's 31 viewers for the Americas tier, it's beautiful yeah, and DK, DK has retired, Perry oh! Almost goes into the back of Raycon. I don't think there was any wing damage. I've got a terrible camera angle to see if there was. Yeah. No, no wing damage. Just looking through the halo, and Perry is... Is, is he going to try it up the inside of Abby? This will be a yeah. great move. Great Take move. three seconds for his troubles. He's off the track. He might. Have, he's going to have to give that position back. Give that back. And he's going to lose it to Lopez as he's well. He's going to lose it to Lopez. He needs to give this position back as soon as possible, yeah. Perry. I don't think he is though. In my opinion, Perry should give that position back. He did go off track to get it. And Lopez diving up the inside. Perry shuts the door. Lopez, can he keep it round the outside on the lower compound of tyre? No, Perry shuts him off well, defends nicely. Fenrique did have wing damage. Um, he ran into the back of Flip Flop Fish, which is probably why he. Lost a lot of time on him. Lopez yeah. all over the back of Perry here. Bodhod is in third place, I've just noticed. Bodhod. Yes, Bodhod. And Wingit has just got the move. 
the, give the bad luck be over. Uh, Wingate's just got the move done before Maggots and Beckett's on you see me flying. Wingate is second place off the hard tyre runners, so uh, be interested to see how he gets on. He's doing well, Wingate, since his return. Uh, so we'll move back to Perry, who is side by side with Lopez going into club. Yeah. Perry will be just wishing that Lopez goes in for an early pit stop. I don't think he'll be wanting this uh, this much pressure on him while well, he is in such a good position. And Lopez up the inside of Abby. Both drivers giving each other enough room there. It's very good driving from the both of them. Raycon is keeping with the two drivers. Mm -hmm. just picks up three seconds. So we'll stay with the battle for fourth place. And the net leader, which is Perry, as Lopez yeah. up the inside into Brooklands and he gets the move done easily. But has he gone too deep? Perry round Perry the outside. Very, very difficult risk. overtake. If Perry gets this done, because it does tighten up near the end of the corner, yeah. and for that reason, yeah. he's oh, yeah, yeah it's, he's not got a good run. So will Raycon be able to attack? Maybe. It's not looking like it, and I wouldn't advise it into cops as we've seen. Mitch also on the back of his line now as well. Yeah, we'll cops. move over through there. Mitch has probably learned his lesson about going side by side through cops. You see me flying with no ERS, just a three <laughs> percent. Mitch in the meantime is on fifty percent ERS. This is the same with Perry and Lopez. But you see me flying have will have DRS. DRS to defend with, but Mitch. Oh, has he got a DRS failure? You see me fly. Mitch going for a switch back on you see me fly. I need a camera oh, angle go yeah. round the outside into club. Can I have a camera angle? Fail, is it? Oh, you see me fly. Oh, back end's gone. Back end steps out. And Mitch is gonna go. Is he gonna go through? I don't He's know. Up yeah. the inside of yeah. Abbey. So, an unfortunate error for you see me flying has meant that Mitch has got through. However, the medium runner of Alp is... Yeah, right there. He's right there, and he's not far behind Perry, to be honest, even though there is a lot of positions. Bodhod has... Battling with Bersie J. Up the... Round the outside of Brooklands, and... Which means the inside line for Woodcut. And he's through. It's a second place, Bodhod. He'll be having a nosebleed. Just the 10 <laughs> seconds behind Big Slater. Big Slater's put the foot down. He has. He's on, trying to pull the gap. He He's, needs to find. He is. Him to drop and look He's at this. Serious points though. Familiar sight for Alp. He's got the <laughs> rear end of Mitch to look at, but you see me flying his round at Cops. Oh, no. Possibly the most common mistake to make for a spin around this track, and he's retired on track. <laughs> I don't think. And Bonhod's. Oh, and Bonhod's had a crash! We've, and he's, he's collected Raycon, and Raycon speared across wing it. And that safety is an car, absolute mess, and the safety car's <laughs> out. And, oh my! Perry, did. Perry, Perry is did. in. That's incredible. And Alp no, stayed out. Yeah. Alp has stayed Alp, out. Well, Alp, Alp's going to go to the end and take the track position, isn't he? He has, he, he is indeed. And Soft can make it to the end here. Big Slate has yeah, been dis... Oh no! We're ignoring a yellow flag, no! Or is, he, or is it a glitch? I think that's a glitch. I think it's a glitch, I think he's still going. That happened last week. Yeah. Slater is in a cracking position. He just needs to pit. I th actually, I think Get the safety the car's come out a bit too late for him. Yeah. But maybe... However, are people lining up? Safety car's already out. Big Slater's yeah. just gone. Big Slater's going to be last if he pits, which he probably will. So unfortunate for Big Slater. Is he? He will. He'll, 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 no, but he'll start. He'll, he'll go into the pits, and he'll come out before the safety car. He'll have to be last. Him. No, but he can't slot in between Bersey J and the safety car, can he? <laughs> <laughs> how, I don't know how this is working. No, so I don't understand why the safe. Yeah. I don't know what's going on now. 
I don't, I'm, I'm confused. Uh, yeah, he should have. I don't know. Bersie J should be able to overtake the safety car. If yeah. he, oh, no, no, no. He's, he's actually P2. Because he's not pit yet. But Big Slater does pit. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. <laughs> I know that normally he should... Normally all the cars should overtake the safety car. Yeah. And Slater will be P1. But because of what how the game is, and Bersie J and Lopez has pit, I'm not too sure what's going to happen. But if if Big Slater is last because of this, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, do, I think winning. he is winning. All the drivers the game, I think need to overtake good, yeah, the I safety car. So Big Slate is slowing down. I think he's going to slow down. Yeah, slot in. And slot, slot in behind the safety car, so, yeah. yeah. That's a weird one. So Big Slater leads by a lap and a bit. At the moment. Yeah. Well, he leads by 25 seconds. Interestingly, Juventus has put the hards on. We've got Mitch has pit for mediums, even though I think the softs would be able to go from the end to the end I from don't here. Think, I think it's staying, staying to the driver's stay behind the safety car. Yeah. I don't Big know. Slater is slowing right he down. He is slowing right down. Because he is. He, he's still P1. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Slater yeah. could, in theory, join the back of the queue and be, be a lap winning. ahead. Be a lap ahead. Which would be. Stupid, but Big Slater is slowing down. He needs to be careful just to not get disqualified and hope that the safety car doesn't rear end him because that will be certain death. Um, it's okay, not behind him. it's not overtaking it's him. It's not overtaking him. Oh no, right, Big Slater, you're gonna have to go all the way around, mate. Yeah. Oh, and that's caused an absolute mess. We won't, we won't watch that. But, oh, unfortunately, a glitch under the safety car has meant that what has been a good race has been somewhat ruined by an unfortunate yeah. glitch under safety we, car. We've lost the front wing as well. But, yeah, we, I mean, it, I this glitch has caused... Mayhem. Probably a lot of damage in the midfield. Yeah, because, the safety because of how break. slow... They must have been going, what, uh, five miles an hour? Because the safety car's not going to come in until Big Slater comes Yeah, Big, big Slater needs to do the whole, he needs to hurry up and just go yeah. around. Are we going to have to reset? I don't know, but people overtake the safety car or Big Slater does a lap. However, yeah. I think people just need to overtake the safety car. <laughs> well, what What is hilarious is now that Big Slate is the safety car, the safety car is actually in the pack with the cars. Yeah. We've done a roll reverse. Um, Big Slater, if Big Slater goes off track, maybe the safety car will overtake him. If anyone's... If, if anyone from Codemasters knows how their game works... So, Flip Flop Fish has just gone off track. Yeah. I'll, if you could overtake the safety car, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. I think we need to... I yeah, think... Slater's going round now. Slater's going round. I, I, I just think all the drivers need to overtake the safety car. What and do, do another lap. What do you think the best thing would be? Is if Slater goes slowly. After the safety car's come in. Yeah, if Slater just... I don't know. If we could organise like a Slater um, <laughs> safety car in a normal race environment, that would fix it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But, I mean, that... What a terrible game. Yeah. I mean, for goodness sake... I mean, but 
Uh, anyway, Next safety cars in. A big slate. Oh, so uh, so so uh, down. Oh, yes. yeah, like, yeah, reverse. He's <laughs> out. He's off the car. Yes. Do not get disqualified. Hold well on, that man. Yeah. Right, back to Alp to watch Don't the race. Don't get disqualified, Big Slater. Right, yes, back to Alp. So, this, this, our bar this is, is in a good position. Yes. Flip Flop Fish is in a good position. Alp is in a good position. Being JJ Byrne is in a great position for some points. Alp's gone. Alp has gone. So, for the restart of the worst safety car I've ever seen, the Slater has yeah. slowed down. He's just about moving at the minute. He yeah. needs to go now. He needs to go now. And he, he has gone. Yeah. So we should... We'll move across to Big Slater. Yeah, there you go. He's going, he's going, he's going. Yeah, right. So, there we go. We're all okay. Let's we're, go. We're all going. We're racing again. We sorted out. We're back racing. You'll <laughs> love to see it. Oh, my God. What a that, mess. I've never, never seen that before in my life. Right, in the meantime, Fenrique <laughs> under pressure from... Oh no, element actually 10. overtaking oh, Element 10. Just overtaking Element 10. Round the outside of Element 10 into Brooklands and yeah. that seems to be a hot spot tonight for overtakes. Um, yeah. Not really so many into Stowe. No, the Wellington straight seems to be better than the hangar straight at the minute. Lopez up the inside of Juventus. Where's that oh, no, Back out. out. Very well done from Lopez, but he's side by side. <laughs> he's all Maggots and Beckett's. He was. Oh, and he's, he's backed out of that one as well. Jumping Lopez him well. Lopez will want to get past Slater as quick as possible, as he is on the softer compound attire. Softest compound attire. So we'll keep with Lopez, as he's going to try it around the outside of Stowe, maybe. But, I mean, Juventus seems to have the pace. Over. And Slater still leads ahead of out. Slater still leads, and he is on the softer compound compared to the next six cars behind him. He should start to build a gap and he needs to do so before DRS gets uh, reactivated I'm missing all the action I'm sorry everyone Lopez has got <laughs> Juventus <laughs> I've just been confused by the whole safety car I don't know what's going on anymore and Mitch looking up the inside of J Jig Burn locked up into the loop and can't get the move done J Jig Burn actually seems to be struggling mm. on that tyre Jonathan and wing it Ah, oh, battling away. And the Haas driver of Bersey J is looking up the inside, potentially, but backs out, thinks better of it. Mitch and JJ Byrne are battling through Woodcut. And side by side, going into Cops. Mitch has had terrible oh, times through here before, and he's going to go for it again. JJ Byrne pushes him wide. I can't see what's going on. No, no, very and the side by side, by side into Maggots and Beckett's and JJ Byrne backs out. He knows that he's he's on for some points here. Yeah. Don't fight with the drivers and stay there. Oh, but Lopez. He's right there now as well. Lopez looking great on the soft compound attire. Yeah. Trying it round the outside. Potentially JJ Byrne keeps it round the outside. But can't get the move done. JJ Byrne keeps. JJ oh. Byrne off to the back end, I think. Coming out of Stowe, which meant that, that's and I tell you what, Alp is having a great drive. Jonathan Cox, and oh my God, I mean, there's too much going on at the moment. Yeah, the two Red Bulls next to each <laughs> other there as well. JJ got him uh, Lopez through club, but then yeah. has been re overtaken by Lopez going through RB, and um, what can be said is that Alp. Has stayed he's, with Big Slater, yeah. even though he's on. And Juventus is gone. Sorry, I won't show it, Ricky. <laughs> Just know that there's a Ferrari round again, or is he? Sorry, Ricky. No, he's, Sorry, he's Ricky. Gone. He's, he's just gone. Raycon and Grugrux King. Raycon, oh, keeps it round the outside of Grugrux King in the fight for 14th. You love the passion for every position. Still fighting for P6. Oh. Yeah, the two Red Bulls going at it. <laughs> Ricky not happy in the chat about the Ferrari's performance. <laughs> Even though Mitch, Mitch is back in the points. Mitch is yeah. And with the Red Bulls fighting, he could close up to the back of it. Yeah, them. Perry looking up the Perry. inside of Stowe and he gets the move completed. Mm -hmm. Up the inside of Stowe. 
out is still with. Oh, he's still with. Big Slater. The Grugus King and the Juventus. Oh no, it's oh, happened again, yeah. Ricky. No, oh, we'll get Sorry, away from Ricky. that. Sorry, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Juventus is not going to be loving tonight's oh, race. Oh, oh, he's already retired, mate. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, after the insane yeah, crash that caused the safety he's car. So well as well. But Big Slater would have thought that he'd have been able to get out of Boy, the DRS range just, from Alt. Just taking the lap that was given to him. Yeah. <laughs> But Alp doing well on the 11 lap old mediums. Now would be the time to get the penalty situation up out. Oh, he's, he's around this time. It's Fenrique. It's Fenrique. Oh no. Fenrique he's, he's, he's made an error. Yeah. That's dropped in what was about five positions. I think he was for P5 battling for P4. I have just noticed Mitch is all over the back of Element 10. Mitch on the newer mediums. Just six laps. Yeah, Lopez on the soft. Yeah. However, we'll go back to the fight for the lead. And uh, Juventus is round again. <laughs> and Alps just dived up the inside. Oh, Big Slater. Big Slater on the better tyre has kept it round the outside, though. Great defending from Big Slater. And Alp stays in position. Alp is insanely quick. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately for JJ Burn, he has dropped out of the points because Jonathan has got him down the hangar straight. Jonathan has at least six seconds of penalty. Well, he's, he had three after about two seconds. <laughs> he had more nice. penalties than race time at the start of the race. That was incredible. Yeah, it was got just for six seconds. I'll I'll tell you the what, there's some battles going on at the lower end of the race. Wing it up Fine. the inside of JJ Burn. That is a terrible camera angle, and Winger has got the move done. Jay just dropping through the field, and he's got out of shape. Oh, and he's round. I think, I'm, I'm not too sure. Can't really comment on that, but Jay Jigburn is round after a bit of contact with the inside. Of, and there's another safety car. Oh, and there's man. another safety car. What a drive is going to do now. It was Grugrux King. It was Grugrux King. Yeah, and Juventus yeah, is yeah. back in it. Oh, he's just pitted as well for the softs. He has just... Yeah. Uh, it was round uh, Aintree. Yeah, it was round Aintree. I was, was going to see if I could see the car. The stricken Haas car of Grugrup's King. Okay. Surely the leaders stay out. Um, well, with five laps to go, I'm, I'm yeah, thinking so. Know. The grid is very packed. I'm, I would say that maybe Jonathan Cox oh, would come oh. in. He's holding the dummy. Big Slater. Has it worked? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've, I've, so, sorry everyone, that was me pressing the wrong... Oh, did you? I viewed a profile. <laughs> <laughs> we are professional at Contest of Speed. Well, the rest of it, rest of them are. Yeah. We get the late night shift. We get the, yeah, which means... <laughs> Three seconds for Perry, that's not good. That isn't good, especially on the safety car. Now would be a good time to look at the penalty situation, Titchy, if you want oh, to yeah. have a uh, look. Yeah, the front two are both on two warnings each. Flip Flop Fish has a penalty and two warnings. Arba has a five second time penalty for screaming a bit now. Has he served it? He has not. He hasn't. Perry has just picked up a three second penalty, and that is his second. So he has six seconds. Element 10 has just the one penalty and two warnings. Mitch picked up two penalties. Mitch? On the lap he came in. Mitch? No warnings, just, just two, penalties. two penalties. Were. Was what, one of them may have been speeding in the bit lane. I shall have a look. I'll look at the incident. <sighs> um, Mitch. Yeah, speeding in the pit lane and a severe, severe collision would wing it. I'm, I, I'm not too sure about the collision. Yeah, um, I don't know what to make if he's, it. If he's no, set, if he, I don't think I've seen it. It, I, it was Lopez. probably under the safety car, so... Yeah. Lopez has one warning. I'm sure the stewards will have a good look at it for anyone who has... 
and Jonathan Cox has a penalty and three warnings on the first lap. No. Since, since then, has picked up one more penalty and is one warning away from a third. So the interesting thing I've made out of that <laughs> is that the Big Slater and Alp battle for is. first is on track. This is yes. an on-track battle, and the safety car's staying out, which is good mm -hmm. for Big Slater. Big Slater wants the safety car to stay out for as long as possible. Mediums will... J-Jig's pit. J-Jig's pit. For a fresh set of softs, I assume. Yeah, you'd assume so. It's because Juventus is round, so it will come in at the end of this lap. It should do, unless J... J-Jig could have made an absolute masterclass of strategy here, because the safety yeah. car might have it's to stay out another lap. Yep, he's got a five second penalty to serve as well. JJ! You cheeky, cheeky, cheeky boy. Uh, yes. That's oh, incredible. I, don't think gonna work, though. I think he's going to catch the pack up. Almost as cheeky as a Shamrock Rovers player. Yeah. I'm both from Ireland. Rovers. Yeah. We're from Ireland, of course. The Irish team of Racing Point in the Americas tier. Ricky, so, Ricky optimistic with the Juventus for a podium. Juventus for he a is, podium? He is P14. <laughs> that yes. would be utterly insane. I mean, Big Slater started last. We do have to remember that. Well, Big Slater started last. <laughs> he, and he is winning. Could have great, had a lap. Great, everybody. Yeah, great right bit now. of sportsmanship shown yeah. from the Irish driver. So, well done, that man. I, I, I thought they were coming down the pit straight then. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye on uh, JJ Burn. <laughs> see, how, see how slow he's going. Yeah, no, I've, I've got no, it. He's, he's going. He's going he's, fast. Yeah, he's, he, he, so he's my up. predictions safety will be will that in. safety car will be in this lap, which will leave three laps of racing and one DRS lap for Alp yeah. to get past Big Slater. The tyres should still be fresh for Big Slater. The day gets worse. And safety car is in this lap. So Big yeah. Slater will start to slow the pack down and this safety car restart is crucial oh, to his on. success. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, what's going on back there? So the restart will be a detriment to how Big Slater will defend from Alp. Alp, as we know, yeah. is useless at restarts of any oh, nature. Oh. And Big Slater has gone. He's got a little gap, I think. And he's yeah. got a little gap, and Arbar's gone up the inside of Flip Flop Fish. I don't know whether that's where he got. Too early, jump too early. So Slater has gone, and unfortunately for him, Alp has kept with him. Oh, and Juventus is round. And Juventus uh, is not going really <laughs> to do come back of the year. <laughs> Juventus is round for about the 15th time tonight, yeah. unfortunately. We'll spare his blushes. Yeah. But Alp coming under. Um, Alp, maybe those tyres, Alp seems to be struggling, and flip what fish, could be on the attack, chooses not to go for it. This could save Big Slater. It could. Flip what fish, attacking Alp. We'll have a look if anything, everyone's stayed in a train since the restart, yeah. nothing has happened. The yeah, Slater yeah, has pushed the gap the to over half a second. going to be the sprint race from yesterday. <laughs> It is, and Element 10 is all over the back of his team, mate. But it's possibly the worst place in the track to be behind someone going through Maggots and Beckett. Saying that, Perry... Oh, and Flip Flop Fish is round! Oh, oh no. no, and Perry's gone off track, come back on, clipped someone. Oh my god, okay, we almost saw a death. It's a good job Perry ghosted then, but that has left the front two to themselves. And I, I've got to say, Jonathan, Jonathan Cox is P4. Jonathan Cox, where's he come from? He was like tenth. Yeah. Mitch is P5. I, I mean, I've got to say, Raycon. Oh, Raycon's no, Raycon. round. It's turning into the. T he's not round. He's just battling he's away. Round. Yeah, he's battling away. The lead. It's, it's one tenth. It's one tenth the lead. <laughs> it's got spicy at the end. There's still one warning away. Bursey J and Perry are, are Perry's yeah, Perry's oh, round. Bad news for both but we'll, we'll switch away from Perry as Big Slater and Alp are battling still. Going into Brooklyn's Alp decides not 
to dive up the inside, saving. Is he saving his ERS for the last lap? If I was Alp, I'd save all my ERS for the yeah. DRS lap. Yeah. I would as well. Ventilator's <laughs> knocked it down to low. Alp's pushing too hard. Big Alp Slater's is pushing too hard. Big Slater's playing this strategically well, but will it be enough? Because we know Alp yeah. is ridiculous yeah. at this game. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's not even a game to Alp. This is life. This is life. <laughs> Could be. Mitch, in the meantime, don't think there's going to be a move up top, so we'll move away. Mitch on the back of Jonathan Cox. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so we seem to have two way battles all the way. Yeah. <laughs> two by two. Jaging birds in the Jaging points. Birds again. In the points. <laughs> You love to see it. He's been Juventus a is quick in the dive from Juventus, is in, Juventus is in the points. <laughs> the this is incredible. Alive. Side by side through club. Juventus almost losing it, and he's just been. Oh. I mean, I don't know what's gone on there. We'll move away from that. Oh. This is PG oh, content, lads. Keep With it PG. DRS this time. <laughs> With DRS, but he's a ways he's back from Big away. Slater. Big Slater's not even in. Big Slater was saving the RS. <laughs> Saving it for the last one. I and mean, there's the mayhem going on back here. Yeah. <laughs> mayhem. I don't want to move away from this battle, though. <laughs> no, you keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on this. Juventus <laughs> up the inside of Wingate. Juventus somehow in the points. <laughs> How? Nine. Perry and Flip Flop Fish battling away. Oh, no. Flip Flop Fish has just crashed. Yeah. But they're coming onto the hangar. They are. Now. And I think so Big we'll, Slater's got it, you know. We'll come back to the lead. They are coming down the hangar straight. He's, he's not got enough. He's no, not out of Alp really. hasn't got enough. Unless Big Slater Big somehow Slater. makes an absolute mess of this. Jonathan he's Cox, however, trying on the inside of our bar. And damn, we're, right, we're moving away from that. That's uh, that's That could be classed as pornographic imagery. Yeah. And Big Slater takes the Big win. Jonathan Alp Cox second, home for Jonathan P3. Cox, penalties aside, is P3, however drops to P4 after Arbar oh, finishes P3. P4 for Jonathan Cox though, Mitch P5, Fenrique <laughs> jumps up over everyone to P4. <laughs> Elevator, you know, this, you know, I mean. this is out the points. Oh no! <laughs> by a oh, mile, by a mile, <laughs> oh my, I mean... I don't crazy. know. So, <laughs> crazy, yeah, <laughs> right. Wow, okay. Yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's just happened. So, yeah. Definitely Slater driver of the day. Last yeah. to I first have, challenge. Not, not, yeah. Complete. <laughs> Big Slater, driver of the day, best bit of sportsmanship we've seen possibly throughout the season, yeah. giving up half a lap of a lead to pretty much consolidate his P4 in the so, championship. And he's done well to keep <laughs> P1, and that is great driving for Big Slater. Alp in second place will push, push maybe be disappointed with strategy. Arbar yeah. will be happy with the podium. Is uh, I don't know how many of the season, but third place for Arbar in the Alfa Romeo. Outside of the podium, we have P4 of Fenrique, uh, the second driver of the Mercedes, who, after penalties with the Wizard Award, does finish P4. Lopez, P5. Good race from him, starting P11. Uh, the highest of the medium starters, apart from Big Slater, of course. Jonathan Cox on debut, finishes P6 after penalties. Mitch, P7, will be disappointed with the penalty situation he had. Um, Element 10, P8. JJ Byrne taking home two points. And what does that do for the, wi the Williams Racing Point? Constructors battle for P4 in the standings will be interesting after that. Raidcon, P10 after starting near the bottom at P17. Great race from him. Bersie's outside the points now. Bersie J finishes 11th. Juventus somehow finishing 12th after about 4,000 <laughs> spins. That was incredible. Perry finishing P13. I think he'll be disappointed after being in a good position. Wing at P14. Flip Flop Fish after being in P2 for most of the race. Even P1. Has finished, unfortunately, in P15 after a crash and maybe some incidents on the safety car. Grugrux King, we're into the DNFs now. Grugrux King has finished P16 after 
something, and then the rest. <laughs> DK had many spins, he was last, I think, and yes. So, driver of the day votes in, I think we've already had and determined who it is. We don't need any votes. I we don't, don't need, any, need votes. any votes. I mean, if we've got any, yeah, fine. But, if you want to send the invites out, which you have, yeah, uh, we'll get the drivers in, we'll interview them, and Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Let's get the, uh... That was an incredible race. I'll take that. Oh my god. Another absolute cracker from the America's tier, apart from, unfortunately, the safety car. <laughs> that was crazy. Which was that. an absolute mess. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know what went on. Is oh, Big Slater going to join the party? I hope so. I hope so. I that hope is... so. Okay, there we go. I want to talk to that man. There, there he is. is. Yes, so, let's get interviews under our way. Arbar. Arbar. <laughs> is, is audio shared? Is, uh, yeah, everyone, Sydney. audio shared. Start don't, a party sentence. Yeah, <laughs> don't want this yeah. to happen again. Allow your voice <laughs> to be shared, always allow, yeah. Yes. Oh, incredible. Out? We have got help. Yes. So, uh, Shoot, shoot, you go. We'll start with Arbar. P3 for you today, good result for you. Um, bit of a crazy race, crashes left, right and centre at points. What uh, what was your view of the race? Was it, well, um, was it a... Uh... I, I, I was just trying to get it, you know, home, because I knew I had five seconds, and I figured that with all the safety cards, there wasn't really a chance for a good result. And then flip-flop spun at the end there, Terry something happened and all of a sudden I had a gap so I think I've really lucked out but I'm really happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you think qualifying went actually because you set a great bank at lap time but couldn't really seem to improve on it even with track yeah, it, evolution. It was like all right I, I mean I was around where my like best laps I've done are so I was pretty happy and the guys in front of me are like insane so i wasn't too i wasn't too worried about or oh, not like out qualifying out you know <laughs> yeah yeah alp is um we'll say weird but in a good way so <laughs> <laughs> it's a good drive from you uh arbar well done um thanks man uh first podium position i think you've been on whilst i've commentated anyway so well done uh so well, well We'll move on to P2, which is the driver's champion. Alp, you beat my qualifying time, so not happy about that. But again, you got stuck behind a driver and couldn't get past. Got two places off the start. Yeah, and also well, had a terrible start. What was your, uh, how did your race go? Did you fail? Well, it was going all planned with the start and the first stint. I knew I wouldn't lead into turn one. Uh, so, yeah, I planned on the undercut and executed it how I want it to be and I was just controlling the race until the safety car happened. So yeah, Slater got ahead of me and yeah, it was just trying to do the best I can but I had like eight laps older tires and harder tires so it was quite difficult. And the second safety car I think that was the one that sort of really hurt me because it closed the IRS which meant that I couldn't get as close as before and it, it was a good one and I really enjoyed it. Congrats to Slater on his first win. First win? Wow, okay. That's the first <laughs> win that. and a half. Oh. That's incredible. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is amazing, actually. So, uh, yeah. yeah, congratulations to you, Alp. I'm uh, sure you would have wanted to win that race, but unfortunately, you were outdriven, let's just say, by <laughs> the non America's tit. Oh, well, non America's. The right. Irishman. <laughs> Are you, are you from Shamrock by any chance? <laughs> Big Slater. What? Yeah, it doesn't Shamrock? matter. <laughs> anyway, right. I've got too many questions to ask you. That was incredible. What happened in qualifying? To be honest, I don't want in qualifying. I was like, to Ricky. I was talking to Ricky in the party before, and I was like, might as well just start at the back. It's then in the end of the season, might as well have fun. And then. I just said, yeah, if I was about to go on a last lap, and I was like, no. 
and I just I said I said in, and that was my first race with no traction controller race on. Wow. Uh, I used to, I used to race on traction control on medium, uh, manual gears, and then ABS is uh, on. No, off, off. Yeah. So, uh, ABS, I think all the sits on. I, I, I mean, I, th I think you'll be keeping traction control off from now on. <laughs> after that yeah, yeah, result. I, nearly, I think Alp nearly saw me spin. Uh, <laughs> Last a couple of times near the end of my head, it was in my mouth. It was a bit of bog roll. I'll uh, bog roll. <laughs> oh, that's expensive nowadays, mate. You want to keep yeah, hold man. of that. Yeah, but, um, over here. So, uh, oh, too many questions. Um, what, yeah, what, what was you thinking on the safety car? Oh, I didn't. As soon as I. <laughs> my Delta went and it said catch the safety car, okay? So, this was before, like when the safety car came out, before I was going to pit. So, I went into the pits and then my Delta was still there. And then when I got up to the safety car, it said catch the safety car. And then I was like, what? So I went by it, and then I didn't know what, I was, I was confused. I was like, oh, what is fucking going on here? I well, told... the only one. <laughs> yeah, we, we had no idea. <laughs> and then I told Jay, Jay J. Warren, he, I told him, because I was in the park with him, I told him to text in the chat. So I was like, catch the safety car, and then the safety car came in, so I was going to catch up, see what will happen, could I overtake? But then the safety car came in, then I was 40 something seconds ahead, so I says, oh, look, I'll slow down and see what happens, and let them catch up, and then I got on me really quick, and then I, the no traction control nearly lost it. I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah, it was a uh, great bit of sportsmanship shown from you there, to slow down for everyone, to catch back up. Um, could have taken a whole lap leave. Yeah, could have taken a whole lap leave, but you know, <laughs> clearly you're a, you're a good yeah. man. So, uh, final question: What's it like having an alien trying to get past you? Ah, oh, he's very quick, that man. Well, thank God, season like God, season like he's like he's like got quicker, quicker, quicker. Have you noticed yourself, Al? Like all season, like at the start of the season. Like between Mitch and Henrique, it was actually close between the trees. Then you just raise your level and you're just a step ahead yeah. of us. Like said on stream, this is life for Alp. <laughs> now that school's <laughs> out the window, this is, this is life. Alp is F1. But anyway, yeah, great race for you, but uh, Slater. Um, you did get possibly the most votes for driver of the day I've ever seen in America's TV, uh, race no one voted for anyone else <laughs> wow so um, yeah you are definitely not driver of the day I would have to give that to Alp no I'm just <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah driver of the day goes to you um, unfortunately for anyone that wants to watch any more of this you will have to wait for next week the same time next week um, as both your European tiers have finished so same time next week and we'll see the final race of the America's tier which is in the US of A and it will be on and it will be a good few battles there as there always is so please join back but I think it's time to say bye so it's a bye from me um, Titchy do you want to say bye? bye Alp do you want to say bye? no Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Slater, do you want to say bye? See ya. Yeah. So, yeah, bye everyone. Please watch again.